before entering into actual video let me just give you an introduction about us uh, we are endurance engineering academy we offer online video course for gate exam preparation okay and also we offer full video course for gate xc okay so if you are planning for writing xc you can visit our website for our full video course this is our website link and you can see this link in the description also and you can call us at this number or you can whatsapp us uh, we will be getting back to you uh, with the required if you have any queries or else you can message your queries to our uh, mail id support at uh, support at endurance engg academy dot in okay let us proceed for the video and this video is an extract from our full video course so next i am going to start uh, another type of convergence called as absolute convergence uh, we already discussed about many different uh, convergence convergence test comparison test limit comparison test integral test uh, divergence test and also many 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 things we discussed right p series geometric series harmonic series etc uh, now this is one more thing which i am going to introduce once after completing this absolute convergence and in absolute uh, absolute convergence i am going to discuss two different test called as ratio test and then root test both of them are very very useful and very very powerful tool for uh, finding out whether the given series is convergent or not okay so uh, after discussing ratio and root we will see overall okay overall we will see which one to be used uh, for what okay for what type of question i need to use what all those things we will see that is we will see a summary about uh, the complete convergence thing okay so that like what i could say it will give you a good amount of idea uh, which will be very very helpful for you when you are writing exam okay so to start with absolute convergence what is mean by this absolute convergence simple uh, make your term okay make your this term a n a n of your series as an absolute value absolute value means what modulus of a n modulus of a n means it should not include negative terms something like this if i able to make mod of a n summation of mod of a n which means absolute sum that's equal to summation of a1 plus summation of a2 plus summation of a2 a3 etc okay if if you are able to prove understand this properly if you are able to prove that summation of mod of a n is convergent listen i am not proving summation of a n is convergent understand it carefully i am not proving summation of a n is convergent i am proving summation of mod of a n is convergent so if summation of mod of a n is convergent then that type of convergence is called as absolutely convergent or absolute convergent whatever okay absolute or absolutely convergent okay ha let me repeat it um if you able to prove okay if you able to prove mod of an that is uh, absolute value of an summation of absolute value of an as convergent you can use any method for proving it i will solve some examples you will understand it okay so if you able to prove that mod of an summation of mod of an is convergent then this an okay so the summation of an is absolutely convergent please understand it carefully if i am able to prove this if i am able to prove this summation of mod of an is convergent then summation of an will be absolute convergent okay so i hope that it is clear now now my you now here your question comes sir why we are uh, uh, discussing this many types of uh, convergence divergence etc etc what is the necessary what is the need see there is a need if you go through everything whatever we discussed until now in each and every test there are some conditions something like if you take uh, i think it's an integral test it has to be positive continuous and also it has to be decreasing okay if it is um, comparison test it has to be positive and similarly the last test which we discussed uh, there is the limit comparison test or even in the uh, ah yeah in limit comparison test also it has to be positive so in most of the cases which we discussed that an has to be positive so in most of the cases which we discussed that an has to be positive in almost all the tests whatever we discussed that an has to be positive so what if if the terms in uh, uh, in the series becomes negative you can say sir there is an alternating series test where the terms are still negative we are going we can use it right 
yes alternating series test you can use but what if suppose i am having negative terms okay i am having a negative terms but it is not alternating i am having negative an or negative terms in our series but it is not alternating if it is alternating no issues you can go for alternating series and you can proceed but what if i have negative terms but it is not alternative there comes this absolute uh, conversion there this absolute conversion plays a huge role and also the ratio test and the root test which i'm going to discuss further okay that ratio test and root test is like a, a part of absolute conversion okay so whatever i'm going to discuss in ratio test and uh, uh, root test will also be useful in those cases okay now uh, so what is the statement it is saying see for example i am I, I, i'm giving you an example here see is this summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity sin 2n by n is it positive always no it is not sin 2n will vary from minus 1 to 1 again 1 to minus 1 again 1 to minus 1 it will be keep on varying so it is not positive always okay and uh, what about decreasing is sin 2n always decreases no it's not yes it is continuous not an issue but it is not decreasing so i cannot use integral test i cannot use it's not positive i cannot use uh, comparison test or limit comparison test okay is it alternating is it alternating see don't think that it is alternating you, you can say that sir sin is changing from minus 1 to 1 it is an alternating right no it's not the case here sin is varying first it will be 1 after that like uh, after that it will go above 1 and then uh, above 1 above 1 again it will be 0 then it will go to minus 1 like like it's continuously varying it's not alternating alternating means what plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus it should be like that but sin some value it will be positive okay some value you know the sin curve right some value will be positive after that it will be negative some value will be positive again it will be negative so positive negatives are like it's changing but not alternating for each term okay so sin is not alternating okay it is not an alternating series also so whatever the methods which we seen will fail for this particular problem we cannot do it by using that uh, by using what are the method which we seen so now here comes the new method absolute conversion okay so what is absolute conversion says find out absolute value for an okay and if that summation of uh, absolute value of an if that is convergent okay if this is convergent then this series will be absolutely convergent okay so let us do some examples on this okay so before going into some complicated examples i want to discuss some simple example here so uh, summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n square so what type of series it is it's an alternating series uh, let us first try with alternating series test okay if i close this minus 1 whole power n minus 1 it is 1 by n square if i apply limit n tending to infinity what will happen to 1 by n square it's going to be zero since it is zero uh, i cannot conclude it as divergent so i'm going for second step what is the second step in ast alternating series test the second step is to find out whether our series uh, whether our term is decreasing or not is my term decreasing 1 by n square is decreasing or not 1 by n square is decreasing okay 1 by n square is decreasing which means both the conditions limit also reaches zero one uh, our term 1 by n square is decreasing so by okay by alternating series test this particular series is converging okay by ast now let us go for this absolute convergence just be with me okay be with me until i complete this okay let me go for absolute convergence So if I go for absolute conversion, I need to find out absolute value for this. So summation of n is equal to one to infinity, absolute value of minus one whole power n minus one by n square. Okay, what is absolute value of n square? It's going to be n square because always n square will be positive, so not an issue. N square. But what is absolute value of minus one whole power n minus one? Minus one whole power n minus one means what? If n varies. That minus one whole power n minus one will also vary. How it will vary? Sometimes it will be minus one plus one, minus one plus one, minus one plus one, alternatingly. But now we are finding out absolute value, which means all the minus one will also change to one. So every time it's going to be one. Okay. So I hope you, I hope you understood. Now what I should do? What's the principle? 
find out absolute value for this a n then true this absolute value of a n is convergent if absolute value of this a n is convergent then the summation of a n that is our given series okay given series is absolutely convergent okay now check this what type of series it is it's a p series right it's a p series with p is equal to 2 greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 it is convergent okay what is convergent this 1 by n square is convergent 1 by n square is what absolute value of this term okay absolute value of this term so absolute value of this term is convergent so this series okay this series summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n square is absolutely convergent how by using this absolute convergence test okay absolutely convergent so by using alternating series test I proved this converging. How I did it? First, I applied limit. It becomes 0. Later on, I found out that 1 by n square is decreasing. So, limit is 0. It is decreasing. So, it is convergent according to alternating series test. Now, by using absolute convergent concept, I found out absolute value for this term. And that absolute value, okay, that absolute series is becoming convergent. Since that absolute series is becoming convergent, the given series is absolutely convergent. So, both... Okay, so this series is convergent and also it is absolute convergence. It is convergent which is proved by absolute series test. It is absolutely convergent which is proved by the basic of absolute convergence. Okay, I hope that uh, there is no doubt until now. See, just be with me, just be patient with me because there is, there is some important conclusions which I am going to give now. Okay, now listen. So, for this series, there is no issues. It is convergent. It is also absolute convergent, right? Now go for that series. Minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n. Okay. What about, first let me apply absolute, uh, sorry, alternate series test. What if, if I apply limit n tending to infinity for this 1 by n? It becomes 0. So no issues. And 1 by n is, is it decreasing or increasing? It's a decreasing function. We know that, right? So it's a decreasing function so according to ast that is according to uh, alternate series test summation of minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n okay is convergent just be with me patiently until i complete because very important conclusion is coming up okay now absolute convergence how to say that our given series is absolute convergent we can say that our given series is absolute convergent if the series formed by absolute value okay the series formed by absolute value if the series formed by absolute value is convergent then the given series is absolute convergent i'm repeating it again and again so that it will be there in your mind okay so you should not forget this okay so find out the absolute value hmm n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n okay so now what is the absolute value of n? See, absolute value of n is always n. It's going to be always positive, not all an issue. So summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity, it's n. And what's absolute value of uh, minus 1 whole power n minus 1? It's 1. Okay, absolute value of minus 1 whole power n minus 1 is 1. Always it has to be 1, positive 1 only. Now, is this series converging? What type of series it is? It is an harmonic series. It is an harmonic series which we know that it is divergent or in other word you can say that it is a p series with p is equal to 1 if p is equal to 1 also it is divergent or else simply it is an harmonic series which is divergent listen listen carefully summation of the series which is formed by absolute value or absolute terms is becoming divergent if the series formed by summation value is convergent, then our series is absolute convergent. But now the absolute value, the series formed by absolute value is divergent. So it is not absolutely, okay, what is that? Yeah, absolutely convergent. 
it is not absolutely convergent see there is no uh, there is nothing called as uh, what i could say there is nothing called as absolute divergent okay so don't think that absolute divergent like that there is no nothing called as absolute divergent we have to call it as it is not absolute convergent now comes an important observation this series okay so summation of minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n okay this series is convergent okay it is convergent but it is not absolutely convergent it is convergent but it is not absolutely convergent so keep this in mind if series is convergent there is no necessary that it will be absolutely convergent if a series is convergent you cannot say that the series will be absolutely convergent also because absolutely convergent is generally strong in nature which means you can characterize like this uh, the first thing is absolutely convergent second is convergent third is nothing divergent let me repeat it so if the series is convergent i cannot conclude anything regarding absolute convergence absolute converge uh, the series can be absolute converging or it cannot be absolute converging also so these types of series just wait for a moment these types of series which is convergent but not absolutely convergent or called as is called as conditionally convergent okay a series which is convergent but it is not absolutely convergent then it is conditionally convergent so as i was saying uh, absolute convergence is strong in nature generally strong means what if the series is convergent i cannot say that the series is absolutely convergent keep this in mind the series is convergent i cannot say that the series is absolutely convergent but the converse is true what does it mean if i able to prove okay if i able to prove that the series is absolutely convergent then the series will be surely convergent that is what i mean strong see absolute convergent is the strongest of all something like divergent okay so there is no convergent exists nothing divergent after that conditionally convergent which means it's convergent but not absolutely but not absolutely convergent there is second one third one absolutely convergent so if it is absolutely convergent then it will be convergent also but if it is convergent we cannot guarantee say that it is absolutely convergent i hope it is clear okay let me write down so first if a series is absolutely convergent okay then it is convergent also okay okay right now second point if a series is convergent okay it is not necessary to be absolutely convergent okay so if a series is convergent but not absolutely convergent it is conditionally convergent so as i said the three things first one is divergent nothing okay nothing like it's it's going to be divergent not at all an issue second one um conditionally convergent which means it is convergent but it is not absolutely convergent the third one which is the strongest of all which is absolute convergent what is what i mean by the word strongest if i able to prove that this particular series okay if i able to prove that this particular series is absolutely convergent automatically it is convergent also but if i able to prove that it is only convergent i am not very sure that it is absolute convergent it may be or it may not i need to do absolute convergent test again for proving it absolute whether it is absolute or not okay